guideline through the clip order of the OMSR show. The intro, this guideline, graphics pertaining to the game, a brief promotional bid, most versions of which shorter than this outline, where OMSR viewers get 10% off the actual game. Sometimes or not, the rant against X's and O's. It's a new entity you got to watch out for if you're trying to do anything college sports oriented. Quickly becoming a notorious third party content ID abuser. And lots of copyright law as well covered about it. And the end graphics as well, which are cool in and of themselves. We do go to great lengths to put on a decent production, as you can see, with the new articulating talking vortex, new addition to Gen 3.0. And you always get a decent amount of basketball. And it ain't no four minutes either, but I'm not at liberty to get into the percentages. So if it's like 15 minutes long, it's not 15 minutes worth of highlights, you understand. But it's not 15 minutes worth of show either. All right, roll graphics. Set for the game from legendary Hinkle Fieldhouse on the campus of Buffalo. Let's get it. I'm told I occupy a special place in the center of the Hoosier State and in the hearts of basketball fans. I don't just hold events. I store memories. Keep them locked inside these walls and fresh in people's minds. Historic Hinkle one of the most hallowed college basketball arenas in the nation is our host tonight for a battle of the Bulldogs. National powers Gonzaga and Butler are set to go. Welcome to the Infinity College Basketball Tip-Off. And welcome to an absolutely fantastic place to watch a college basketball game. We've got the Bulldogs from Spokane and the Bulldogs from Indianapolis. And we are all here for the first time doing our first game here at Hinkle Fieldhouse where so much basketball history has happened. What are you looking for tonight? Well, I'm really so excited to be here. My first journey here in 34 years. I've never been to Hinkle and this place is rock and roll. Dan, this is Fenway Park, baby. But I'm looking forward to tonight for a physical performance by Butler against an offensive machine. Great balance when you look at Gonzaga. Both clubs in the last seven years are the top ten in the nation in winning percentage. Now, beginning with a visiting Gonzaga Bulldogs, Kevin Pangos, Gary Bell Jr. for the backcourt, and Mike Hart, uh, an all-time hustler to do anything guy on the court. Elias Harris, so talented up front, along with Kelly Olynyk, playing about as well as anybody in the country right now. For Butler, without Rodney Clark, they will start Alex Barlow. Remember, Barlow hits a game-winning shot in overtime to beat Indiana. Kellen Dunham, a very talented freshman. Roosevelt Jones, Kyle Marshall, and then Andrew Smith, who Brad Stevens says has been sensational this year. If you're, you'll be hard-pressed to find two better guys as coaches who have had more success than Brad Stevens, two trips to the national championship game, and Mark Hughes taking Gonzaga to the NCAA tournament each and every year that he's been the Zag Chef coach. We're along the celebration of the great college basketball arenas and venues around the country. This is one of them. If you weren't with us in the first half, this is Hinkle Fieldhouse. This is where Hoosiers was filmed, and this is where the game that inspired Hoosiers actually happened. The Milan Miracle when they won the state championship in 1954. The Big O. Oscar Robertson won state championships in this building in 55 and 56, and unbelievable first half, unbelievable atmosphere. What do you think is going to decide this game in the second half? Well, I think it's going to come down to the free ball. There's no question. Right now, when you look at the ball, the reason they're in the
Gonzaga came, only down one, and they made four more threes than Gonzaga. Second key factor, they've been able to control Temple, not allowing Gonzaga to go up and down the floor and get layups. I think that's a major factor. I think if they can do that, they can come down a wire. This is a very talented Gonzaga team and a very physical Potential goat. He lifted his back to foul. Foul right away. I mean, you got to hope for a dramatic three. Oh, boy! They got it! Oh! Oh! Yeah! I can't believe it! I can't believe it! You're so ass! Are you so ass? All right, so continuing on with the X's and O's rant, I'm going to talk to the audience. Assuming there's still a few left, and then be. Very specifically, clearly, we'll talking to them slash you. This also goes back to September 27th announcement. They had this deal with some conferences to build a YouTube channel. Okay, well, congratulations. The 28th, they start going around dinging everybody with no regard for the DMCA and all of its key provisions, which apply to YouTube more than ever. The OMSR has adhered to the DMCA since way back in Generation 1. We've always owned more than well over 50% of the content. And the thing of it is, is X's and O's, this blogger up in Oregon, who's sort of an uh, uh, unnameable source of mine, made it clear that, you know, the agreement was, you know, well, nobody could put up, you know, video shorts anymore, Pac-12 highlights, for more than 48 hours, and it can't be more than three minutes. Well, you know, your contract negotiations are all fine and dandy and beneficial for you, but it's still overseen by federal law. Hello, these key tenants were hashed out also with uh, another little entity called WIPO, with W standing for World. So going around on YouTube, abusing the content ID system without any regard for this in 12 years of case law and precedent, you're not 
being the best ambassador, frankly, on behalf of the universities that you signed this deal with. I mean, you're three months on YouTube and you think you're like this expert. All right. Legal wise, no. Also, with the third party content ID system, it used to say what well, few times we got this. And it, frankly, in Generation 1, when some of the shows were longer, nobody had a problem with it because the percentages were correct. It used to say, content is owned or administered by. Now it says owned only by, but you are listed as ad the administrator or administered by. The two terms are at odds with each other. But you're just a licensee. Pick you kind of come in with a swelled head that, you know, is being popped right now and on every show. I'm going to make sure everybody knows about this. Okay, because the DMCA has these provisions there for a reason. And I'm not going to do your job for you. But it's something like this. Is it 48 to 52 percent? Is it 55 45? Is it 31 69? In what context is he talking about? Uh, is, you know, the sporting event being used, what percentage of that of the event on a whole? You know? There's a reason why 20 dudes were able to put up a six minute clip from when Jeff Gordon and Clint Boyer were duking it out on NASCAR and not do any attempt at any uh, original stuff themselves and they each got 50,000 hits. There's plenty of room out there in the sporting world for multiple venues but more importantly the question becomes well of what percentage is six minutes of a 300 minute event? Alright, you're, you're coming into YouTube with a modus operandi of what you've done based on what the blogger said in Oregon, assuming that everybody's just throwing up sports clips and, and that's it. No, no, no. This is a completely different kettle of fish you're dealing with here. When you're talking about percentage breakdowns, and again, I'm, I'm not at liberty to really get into that, but it kind of goes to show a double standard. The Texas A&M LSU game was the last draw, and I think some of your university partners would be interested to see how your algorithms are not foolproof. More importantly, they are adhering to the law, which speaks to Maybe uh, some of your promises are not as ironclad, and, and, and frankly, somebody who's been around on YouTube only recently is not the, the best partner for them. I mean, there's pl it shouldn't be like that. There's plenty of, uh, of space on YouTube for everybody, and it's legal, more importantly. You know, so sometimes y you mess with the wrong individual. And properly motivated, one individual can be like a one-man army. And I assure you, you have properly motivated me. With brief video highlights courtesy to ESPN, ABC, CBS, Fox, and Ord Pac-12 Network, in their entirety. The OMSR does not own these video highlights, but does own all the other original content and the overall concept herein, thereof, therefore, most rights reserved. We also adhere to a strict standard and interpretation of the DCMA, Digital Copyright Millennium Act, or Digital Copyright Act, as these were hashed out through WIPO, World Intellectual Property Organization. These are the fair use standard, derivatives, and a minority use.